Hey everybody, this is a Volvo VNL and I am making a video. I am not a video person. I don't know how to do much editing so I'll be pausing and picking back up again. But I am replacing the stud and antenna in a Volvo VNL. There's not very much documentation on how to remove this cover and the stud replacement and all this good stuff here. So I am going to be recording this, pausing, and so everybody will know how to do that here in the future. All right, we're back on the driver's side now. This is the next one that I'm replacing. My studs aren't broken, but I am replacing them and taking that antenna out. So I'm getting ready to remove this cover. So first step, I'm gonna open this door up here guess we'll start off in here you're going to remove this screw this screw this screw this screw this screw here then down behind the fairing here right here's another another screw it's going to be um, it's going to be a 12 12 millimeter these 12 millimeter here 12 millimeter here also you're going to be removing this one here, here, and here, and here, and here to remove this whole panel here. Then you can see my problem right there. See where the CB antenna is completely cut through there? Anyway, um, you're also going to remove, this does not release the door, but you're going to remove this, this, and this with a Torx bit and it is a T40 so you got a T40 here and this little one here find my settings here this little one here is a T25 right here so let me get all this removed and then I will show you how to remove the mirrors so you can get that back cover off Okay, we're back recording again. Uh, just to let you guys know that the Torx bits that were sitting here, the Torx in the heads, uh, did not want to strip them, so I had to spray a little bit of PB Blaster on them because uh, I was getting very close to stripping those out. Again, you can see the coax there, or the uh, CB antenna is totally severed there. And uh, so everything's removed. Close the door here. So. The way this works is this goes from, the cord goes in here, comes actually it goes around a screw here, comes down here, goes through this tube, and then up into the back here, goes down through this boot into the cab. So we're going to uncut all of this now, and then I'm going to remove the mirror. Okay, on the mirror, you're going to push, let me get my ladder here. You're going to push your upper mirror all the way forward, like so. You're going to put your hand under here, and you're going to push up at the same time you wiggle it out. So it's sitting on some little teeth in here. So you're going to push straight up and out. It's this one here, same thing. You're going to push it forward. They're very tight. You're going to push it up as well, unlock it, and then there's going to be two wires attached here and two wires attached here for the heated mirrors. Unhook those and then you just take these off. And uh, so let me get all that done and I'll hit record again. Mirrors are replaced. This side was a little more difficult than the passenger side. So what I found, it was easier to push this mirror forward, take the bottom one off by pushing it forward lifting it up and it gave me more leverage for this one but here are the little teeth here so on the back of the mirror they just sit in here and slide down when you go to replace it you're gonna push them back in there slide them down to remove them you're gonna lift up and get them into these openings and they pop off now for removing this cover you follow the arrows here you have an arrow here 
arrow here pointing to this one. So you got one, two, and three right here. Then on the inside, you have an arrow, and way back in here is a little clip. You're not gonna be able to see it probably with the sunlight, but you've got one here that's gotta push out, one here that's gotta push out, and one right down here that's gotta push out. So let's see if I can do this and record at the same time. I'm also finding that I probably should have waited on removing the screws here until after I had all this apart because this is moving on me a little bit. But I don't plan on doing this again. Um, except for removing the mirrors, I'm going to put a chrome, the chrome covers on when they come in. But I'm impatient and didn't want to wait. I'm going to go ahead and pause this so I can get these all unsnapped. I'll be right back. Okay, covers snap loose. Normally you could be able to slide this up and over, but there's a plate here. It's got to be removed anyway, so I'm going to remove this real quick with a half inch. Oh, i got to pause again. Need three hands for this. Okay, it's all removed. So now it's just a matter of taking this, lifting it up. There's your cover. If you're going to replace it with chrome covers, you pretty much got to do everything with the mirror there. Sorry for the wind. Typical windy day in the, in Texas up there on the ladder. So what you have now on the back of this is now most mobiles have these lighter packs. I guess that's, that's good. Good thing here. Anyway, you're just going to remove this off of here. I've got new ones, and I'm going to tap this down, knock it loose, pull your cord through, and then. You're going to fish it back through here, and then I'll show you what it's going to take for the new one. Okay, so once you pry this off here, I had to get a screwdriver under there to pry that off. This simply slides out. You're going to cut it. You're going to cut this loose gonna come through and feed through here and it's connected it's connected right there in the two pieces this here is your electric mirrors and heated mirrors so you don't want to mess with those and I'm gonna cut this loose cut this loose cut here we're going to loop this back around in here, replace the wire. Now, here's the issue that we have. That hole right there is all you have to fish the wire. So unless you're buying CB antenna without a connector on it that you're going to solder on afterwards, you're going to have to make that opening bigger. So in order to do that, you've got to pull everything through here back out over here and what I did on the other side was I took this oval and I brought it down into the plastic a little bit more with a larger drill bit and just drilled it out and I went with a fire stick dual CB antenna adapter let me grab that okay so the fire stick kit that I order has two of these you can unscrew the CB end off of this feed this through push it through this pipe so it comes out at this end here so you can fish it over into the rubber boot again like I said there's no way you're gonna get that in there with without 
having issues with the boot here. So I'm going to remove all of this wire. Let's see, I can probably go ahead and do that. I'm going to just cut the CB. Uh, make sure I cut the right one. Cut that off there. Going to pull this through. All of your wires here go through a little connection there, just a little uh, pigtail that kind of holds it. Unhook them there, unhook it there. All right, I'm going to now be able to pull this straight through. do here is that when I pull this away you'll see it's just wrapped around a screw nut up in here and there's a harness so I'm gonna undo the harness it's got it connected I'm gonna feed this through Try this one more time, see if I can get it in there. Oh, actually, you do not need to drill it. I drilled the other end because I did not remove the wire first, the electric mirrors. So let me pause this, undo this connection here, and I'm going to feed this through. Be right back. Okay, the new CB antenna is pulled through. I'll take this and pull it up, kind of push it out of the way a little bit. And I'm going to take the electric mirrors and I'm going to work this back in there. Well, I'm going to need two hands, so I'm going to take the electric mirror connection, I'm going to push it inside there, and just sit there and play with it forward and backwards, forward and backwards until it comes out at this end here. And then I'll pick back up on the video. Okay, I did have to drill this hole out a little bit. I had to make it more oval. There's no way to get the new wire in there and get the electric mirror harness to pass through there. So, uh, out of just chance on the other side, I drilled it out thinking I needed to because I did. So I'm gonna rerun both wires back through there again. Just wanna show you that I did have to drill that hole opening a little bit larger. Okay got uh, CB antenna got electric mirrors all run comes out here make a connection okay that's connected going to carefully cut these wire ties and last one here so and we 
going to pull the old one through the door. And we'll come down here, grab the new one. Okay, so now that's through. I'll grab it from inside the firewall. This piece here, I'm going to tuck back up inside here a little bit. This curve's going to go up and wrap around in here along with the coax. There's a little notch designed for it. Reverse everything. So I'll go ahead and start putting everything back together and get the new stud and my new Fire Stick 2 antennas and uh, give you a final look at it. And hopefully that helps somebody because I scoured Google and YouTube looking for a way to do this and I couldn't find any videos. Be right back. Okay, here's everything all wired back up. Got my zip ties all in. Got everything secured nice and tight. Make sure all my pinch points are good. And I'll try and pull that back. You'll see that there's a groove for everything to sit into there. Hopefully you can see that. I doubt it with the sun. Anyway, so anyway, that mounts right in there. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to hook up my new stud, spring, and we went with uh, the Fire Stick 2s. That will run the uh, radio, AM, FM, NOAA, rather, NOAA weather, and CB. Okay, I want to show everybody this connection here. I don't know if you can tell. Let's see if I can focus. There's a little bit of a that little Teflon has to sit down in the hole or something so the metal makes contact with the fire sticks. So I took off the bushing of the new one and I'm gonna hold this with my chin if I can. So what I'm gonna do is bring that up like so put the part that's protruding down until it locks into the little groove there and screw on the coupling this up after I pause again. Put my new spring on here. Now I have a dent in my spring. I probably scratched up my chrome. Let's see. Ah, looks okay. tighten these up too much. The other ones were almost impossible to get off. And the new fire stick antenna. And there it is. I'm going to go and clean up these wires a little bit and put everything back together. Be right back. Okay, gang, all put back together, fingerprints and all. Fire stick two. And all tucked into its grooves. Hopefully it lasts and Hopefully that'll help somebody in the future. There was a lot of trial and error on this one. Over and out.